Oh, hello there. Kelly Baxter Fitzgerald here with Snips by Kelly, and I'm excited to share with you today a few little elevation tips for our Little Penguins mini album workshop. It is so darling, and it has this darling penguin set with all of these penguins that are really busy doing all kinds of things, swimming and taking photos and dancing and things that have to do with the snow and having birthday parties and just an adorable, adorable set called Little Penguins. And this is just one of five projects that Close to My Heart will be doing in a free virtual crop on May 6th and 7th on Facebook on the Close to My Heart official Facebook page. Now it's free for everyone to hang out, learn tips and tricks, learn amazing techniques and have fun. Or you can purchase the individual workshops. There are five of them. You can purchase any one that you like or you can purchase a discounted bundle and get all five of those projects and create right along with Close to My Heart. So I asked my Snips by Kelly paper crafters which ones that they loved, which ones they wanted to do, and kind of how they wanted to handle it um, as a group, as my Snips by Kelly paper crafting group. And they all said that they would like to see me take the five projects, each of them, and give additional ideas on how to use up the leftovers and how to elevate the projects a little bit without adding a lot of cost. So I started last night um, while I was cooking supper with little penguins because I love them. I think that the entire workshop is worth it simply for this adorable stamp set because I can think of so many uses. So this is a mini album, a six by eight, and it, and it fills the album. And literally, like I said, I started this project after supper um, and I looked at the photos of the projects and then I went to my Cricut and I used one fourth sheet of black paper and created this elevation envelope. I didn't know what I was going to do with these pieces, if I was going to need these pieces. I just knew that looking at the project, it had a lot of potential for black accents. And you think of that with penguins as well, right? So I went to my Cricut without thinking about the project really at all, other than knowing I wanted black accents. And I created some very, very basic accents. Now this workshop already comes with a bunch of fun little black accents. So I'm just adding to those and I created some black tags on the Cricut, really little ones, some circles, some scalloped borders, some arrows. And what I loved about just adding these little tiny icons is I could use the insides of these icons as well. And so, and it was literally less than a quarter of a sheet of black cardstock. And so I thought that I might use this as just one of those little elevation uh, portions that I'm going to do today to show you how I changed up the album. And what I loved about this is that it fits right in a regular envelope and does not um, need added postage. And so if I want to send that to my paper crafters, it's just a stamp and very little work. All right, so let's take a look. What I've done is I've printed the photo of the original layout and it is so amazing. Like I said, I put together the basic parts of the layouts just right after supper uh, or while I was cooking supper last night. So the, close to my heart, the, the whole point of these is that they're so fast, they're so easy, they've done all the thinking, they've coordinated everything for you. So here is the first cover layout. And the only thing I did is take the little bag of whatever was left over in the workshop 
and look at those pieces and decide how I could elevate it a little bit. Now, one of the very first things that I would do with an album like this, and I didn't do it because I'm uh, trying to show how to do it without adding anything, but one of the things that I would do is I would dig around in my stash for some of my black dots because this would be a perfect project to add those black dots to um, and just embellish them with that. For me, without the bling, it's not really a finished product, but I love the technique that they've taught us. They did some journaling pen techniques, they did some gel pen techniques, they did some marker techniques, but again, here is the original page, and this album is special to me too because the entire album is about one of my downline members' families. So you know that Close to My Heart loves to feature their customers and other makers, and they love when you submit your photos to Close to My Heart, and they will use those in projects and in the catalog. So this entire album features one of my downline makers family so it's so cool okay enough talking my goodness okay so here is the original opening layout darling just as is without doing anything the only thing i did is add a three and a fourth by four and a fourth extra piece of black that was in that extra bag of leftovers i added a small little tag um banner dovetailed banner here and added the words just chillin which is something that is right on that stamp set and i added one of those little cricket arrows that i um, created on the cricket and that is all i added to that to draw out those black pieces and just add some little fun extra elements around. I kept with all of the original um, technique, the using the marker to do a little markering here, using the um, gel pen to add to those stamped stars. And um, I just really think that just those few tiny little things just makes it pop and I love that added black. And that is how I um, elevated the layout number one or the opening layout. So here we go to the first layout here. Here is the original, of course, adorable, just the way it is. And I elevated it in the same manner by adding one of those Cricut arrows and backing that arrow with one of those leftover small scraps that was left over. Again, adding a little bit of that leftover black to just offset and make it pop off the page just a little bit more. Um, and otherwise, I left everything else the same as it was. Just the black accent over here and adding that tiny little accent just makes it pull a little bit more off the page and pop. For the second page of that layout, again, I added one of those tiny Cricut pieces that I made on the Cricut as an accent. And instead of stamping the penguin right on the background, I stamped him on a scrap of the little diamond paper to sort of draw the attention on the two pages to that additional pattern. And I thought he was an adorable little penguin to be offset just a little bit um, and not quite blend into the background so much. It's really cute on the main page as well. The other thing I did to draw out the black again is add a strip of leftover uh, paper that was actually already sized. Many of the pieces that I used from the scraps to add to this, I didn't cut them at all. They were just leftover pieces that I tucked here and there. And so then this is what the finished layout looks like. Very, very cute. And here is the original. So you can see it just jazzes it up a little and just makes it pop just a little bit. And the next layout, um, just so cute. What I love about this album People think penguins and they think winter. This album is filled with, um, <clears throat> there's some Halloween, there's some Easter, there's some beach, there's some just everyday play. Um, the penguins are just a really adorable character and you don't have to always think winter in what you're using those for. So here we are again, here is the original layout, Darling the Way It Is. Um, and what I did with this is I added an additional Cricut accent 
cut one of the Cricut circles in half and used half of it right here. And I, let's see here, I think that was all that I did on that. I did pop up the Forever Friends. Oh, I added a leftover 1 4 inch strip of the black heart paper on the top just to add that accent to make that pop up at the top a little bit more. So you're getting the idea that I'm just using all of the leftover pieces and those black accents just to jazz it up a little bit. Again, I added the black accent here. Um, instead of stamping the heart on the plain flamingo cardstock, I stamped it on a little bit of leftover triangle paper, again, to draw in an additional pattern. And then I added the other half of that little Cricut circle in the corner to tie it all together. And so you can see the original and then just a few of those little pattern paper and Cricut black accents just to jazz that up and make that pop a little bit. You're gonna see that theme throughout all of my elevations where I'm just adding those black Cricut accents and I'm adding some backgrounds and I'm adding some of those additional leftover paper pieces. So here we have, and it looks like it was a birthday party, a princess birthday party. Here is the original darling. They did some stitched lines with a journaling pen, created a little ribbon up here, and how cute that they created this hidden pocket by adding foam tape to this piece so that you could tuck a hidden journaling piece in there. So that is the original, and I loved most everything about the original. Again, I just basically added accents. So I added an accent piece right here, and then the bottom of the tag that I used, I used the top of the tag on this one and the bottom of the tag on this just to draw that black in there again. And that was the only changes that I made on that layout, just adding those two um, uh, um, accents. And then on this one, um, I did um, actually, let me look, I'm looking and to see if I did actually change anything on this one. I don't think that I did. Um, I didn't add anything different on this one. Um, I loved it just the way it was. So just adding those two additional accents here and that, how easy is that? How easy is that? Really, really cute. Okay. The next one, I just did this last night after supper and I have to remember what I did. All right, so this next one I did a couple different things, okay, just to make it stand out and pop a little bit more. So here's our little princess again, and the neat thing about the penguins is they can hold cupcakes, they can hold fruit, they can hold candy, they can hold presents, they can wear crowns, they can be taking pictures with a camera, they can be dressed in tutus, they can hold an, uh, uh, an umbrella, there's so many things. So you can, if you don't have birthday photos, pick a different penguin doing something else. So you can totally make these go in any direction that you would want to. So for this one, I added the Cricut accent here and I added um, the uh, penguin and popped him up instead of putting him directly on the page. And this was such a fun technique. This is dots with tri-blend markers going through and making dots with the blue, the pink, and the yellow tri-blend marker to create your own polka dot pattern paper. How fun is that to coordinate with any birthday because you can use any color that you like. They did stitched lines across here and all I did is move this penguin from directly on the page to pop it up to give dimension over the Cricut accent that I added. I didn't add my journaling lines yet because I wasn't quite sure what photo I was going to be using for that. This one was a super simple change up as well. The only thing I did here is add those presents on top of a Cricut circle so that they would pop, so that you would see those in the corner a little bit better. I stamped one of those presents, instead two of them in the original are stamped directly on the pattern paper here and one is stamped on white. So what I did is I stamped two of them on white and colored them with the 
triblend markers that are part of the workshop already. And then I did the third one on a, a leftover scrap of orange pattern paper, nectarine pattern paper, and colored the bow and popped it up with foam tape and added one Cricut arrow. So stinking simple. It's just, it can't even really be considered a tip. It's so easy. Um, just by adding that, you can see just a little bit of a difference and a little bit of a pop in those pages. All right, the next one was the one that they focused on Halloween photos, but you could focus on anything that you like. Here is the original, and I did a few things here. One is they made this secret pocket again for your journaling. Um, I haven't added my inking to that or my lines yet, but I added two of those Cricut tags and an additional tag. So they had you make one tag for the original project out of this speckled pattern paper, but there was plenty left over to make two. So I made another one with a hidden penguin behind with a cupcake in his hand so that when you cover it up, it's a surprise when you take the journaling out. Another elevation that I didn't do that I probably always would do is maybe adding just a little twine from your stash or some gems from your stash to the tops of the tag holes. That's always a, another, sometimes those little tiny details you don't even know um, how much a difference it makes to our eyes, but it really does. The other thing I did um, that was different than the original is I added the Cricut heart in the center here. I added a leftover banner piece with a Cricut arrow in the corner just to finish that page off. And then on the next page, I simply added a black tag behind the penguin with the camera. I also added another little banner to tie in um, from the leftover scraps and stamped you and me on the corner. You and me is used a couple times in this workshop, but I, I it doesn't bother me at all. It's totally appropriate um, in both places. So there is the original and the elevation. Just a little bit of extra pizzazz to make it pop a little bit. All right, here we go. And isn't this amazing how, how many pages you get with this workshop? It's incredible. And they've done all of the designing and all of the work for you. This one again was super simple elevation. All I did on this one is I added um, a black strip, one black strip in here all the difference in the world one black strip can make to just draw out and make that picture a little bit more of the focal point. And I added a half of a Cricut circle over here. And then I don't know if you can see, but I randomly colored some of those flowers on the background paper with the citrus triblend marker that's already in the workshop. So the original just doesn't have the coloring in the background and I just added that little coloring there in the background. So simple, but yet the difference is incredible. Just a, enough to make you go, wow, that's really cute. All right, the next one, all I did is continue on with those black accents by adding the black strip here, right here, adding the black Cricut arrow over here, and then adding that circle to the other half of the circle to tie in the two pages, and then again, coloring with the yellow tri-blend. All right, the citrus yellow. The next page, so cute. This one is highlighting my downlines children um, looking at an aquarium, and it's just darling, 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 just the way it is. And how I changed this up is I added some extra pattern paper. So this um, diamond piece here was left over and this diamond piece here was left over. And I just added a little extra pop there by adding that those pattern paper frames and those pattern paper pieces. When you look, oops, got to get centered here. Um, so you can see the difference there. Added half of a Cricut circle here and um, out of that... Um, a uh, little elevation envelope and added some stitched lines with the gel pen. And then let's see, is that it? I think that's all I did on that one. Yeah, just simply adding the circle and that background pattern paper made all the difference in the world and made that photo stand out a little bit more. Again, on this one, added this strip 
added the Cricut arrow and backed it with a little leftover piece of the pattern paper that was used up here. I did rearrange a little bit and added, um, added the extra stars, the stamped stars as well. Um, and then I think that, oh, I have it upside down. I kept thinking, what am I doing? Yes, I added the stamp stars here and the Cricut arrow here with the pattern behind it and then added that pattern paper to just tie both of those in. So you're seeing elements of both of those pattern papers in each one. And that is how I elevated that. And we're almost there. We're getting there, just a couple more. And so this one, I didn't do much at all um, because the larger photos were the focal point. All I did is add a swirly Cricut arrow to each one and I added um, the uh, gel pen, of course, to the stars, which is the way it originally was, but just by balancing and adding those arrows across from the other black pieces, I felt tied it in and made it pop just a little bit more. All right, the next layout, isn't this just cute? It just goes on and on. I love this. So this layout, I actually added some extra penguins, which you can do to every single page because you have all of your penguins, right? You can go crazy with your penguins. But um, prompting me was this cute little photo of the kids eating ice cream. And I was thinking about two peas in a pod or two little uh, siblings or friends. So I did fussy cut some additional ones out of leftover white paper and I just added those and then added the hearts to the bottom and then on the second page all I did was add the um, a, a, a leftover half of a Cricut circle and then I did add some shading to just chillin with the tri-blend marker and a little leftover piece of pattern paper that I tore to make it look like washi tape over uh, crossing over. So that is the difference between those two. And you know, they're just subtle differences. They're just tiny, inexpensive things. The only thing that I added to the original kit was a fourth of a sheet, less than a fourth of a sheet of black paper that I cut those little Cricut icons out of. That is it. And then on this one, this one was similar to the opening page where I added a black accent behind the photo. I still used this piece, but I just rearranged it. I added the Cricut arrow up here, and then I divided the yays. So we have the leftover chipboard yays here and the stamped yays there, so that it kind of comes across and makes that photo the focal point. Similar to what they did here, I just added some of the words on the bottom. And by adding that little black layered piece behind it, I think it just totally pops. And that is how I did an inexpensive elevation that was super easy that you can get done by the time your dinner is done. And if you love those ideas, run to your Cricut and just make a few little accents and you can apply those super easy on your own. Or if you'd like to receive my little elevation envelope, simply purchase your little penguins workshop off of my shop site. And I will have all of that in the link of how you attend the virtual event for free, how you can get the little penguins workshop in my elevation envelope in the comment section of the video. Thanks for hanging with me and thanks for watching my elevation tips. Have a great day. Bye.